The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by the professional, and at a combined weight of 337 pounds, BF, and the original gangsta, the Rock and Roll Express. Title match or not, Byron, the champ certainly looks ready to go here tonight. Oh, he definitely is, Michael. In fact, some of the superstars in the back were commenting earlier today about how focused he looks coming into this match. At a combined weight of 260 pounds, the champions, Marie O and Louie G. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Doesn't get any better than this. We're about to witness tag team action at its finest, fellas. You know, even though the title is not on the line, this is still an important match for the champ. He can't afford to show any weakness here. Closer now. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Drop kick. Beautiful. Going to be agonizing for the arm. Not uh -oh. the arm. Oh, my goodness. Crushing it. Oh, and a snap there. That'll give you whiplash. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Lariat! Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus, I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that 
tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's Man. been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Going for the... Here's his chance. And that might just be enough to end this match. And off the tag. He's stumbling some now. If they want to win this match, he really needs to make a tag soon. Jeez. If I'm his partner, I'm furious right now. There's no reason why he shouldn't have made a tag by now. <laughs> he looks a bit off his game here. Yeah, but he's still in considerably better overall shape than his opponent right now. I mean, it seems to me like he still has plenty of fight left in him. Oh boy, he is rolling. No, he reverses it. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of... Uh, oh, what impact. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Avoids trouble there. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good, Byron. Yeah, this is how people end up getting hurt. Four. Boom, what impact. Harsh impact. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents... Looking at it here! Neckbreaker! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of... Shoulders on the mat! You gotta believe this one's over! Uh-oh! Inverted Frankensteiner. Nailed it. Oh, to the back of the net. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. He's lining him up. He can't take much more. Look at this. Whoa. Unbelievable athleticism. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. He might have it. What a stomp. Good grief. That's what he was looking. He's going for the pin. They did it. They won the match. We got our money's worth for that one. Take a look. I remember this part very well. He's getting after it here. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. And I always enjoy watching him perform.